Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 98, NASDAQ is up 102, S&P is up 24, gold contract up 23 bucks, trading 1855 an ounce. We got silver up 52 cents, 24 dollars 57 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 24 cents, 47 dollars 23 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down five ticks, 137.29. 30-year off 13 ticks at 173.09. And both notes and bonds, folks, yesterday, they rejected lower price yesterday. We'll see what they do today. It looks like they're going to reject lower price once again in good old King Dollar. King Dollar is down 100 ticks, trading 90.616. The euro is at 121. The yen is out here trading at 103.76. And the British pound is at 133 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Tuesday morning. A lot of green on the board out there. Uh, a little bit of volatility on the opening bell. After yesterday's action, we'll see where today goes right you, out of the gate. You got to love it. Let's go over to my man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, if you want to understand the option market, option strategies, futures, an outstanding program. Kevin's an outstanding teacher, outstanding trader. Uh, Check it out, 11 to 12. If you haven't test-driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, it's very easy to do. You're on our website right now. Just hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money and follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Welcome, guys, to the, well, in traders' eyes, really the final high-volume trading week of the year. I know. A lot of traders kind of dial it back after December options expiration. So, but we've got a lot to do this week. Earnings are a little thin. We get Nike at the end of the week. We get Darden restaurants, but earnings per se are a little thin. But tomorrow's a big day with retail sales and a Fed meeting. Uh, we've got stimulus out there. We've got vaccine news out there. So there's still plenty to keep us busy. And then on top of that, you know, I was listening to your program yesterday, Kevin. On top of that, you know, folks, what has happened is that Tesla's got all the news. Uh, bottom line is going to the S&P. But the bottom line, we're going to reconstitute uh, the NDX 100, right? Yeah. And so well, the NASDAQ and the S&P are going to rebalance on Friday's close. Yes. For Monday's open. And if, if for people, if your viewers don't know what that means, that means all these indexes, everything that's weighted to the S&P or the NASDAQ. Remember, because Peloton's going in the NASDAQ as well. You have to buy Tesla and sell the names that are going out of the NASDAQ or, or the, the S&P. Right. Of Tesla. So these prints on the end of the day Friday could be crazy. Oh, I'll Sometimes tell you. I've done a lot of these. Over the years, sometimes they're they're kind of muted, and sometimes they're crazy. The, Tesla, buckle up. Buckle this up. So hey, big one. so let's talk about the. I, I love that this trade that you put on with Peloton because let's talk about this because Kevin, you know, like I mean, you know, I'm a technical guy, but so what ends up happening is that when I looked at the low and the high, you get, let's talk. You get that 15 point spread, man. It, it's like yeah, you can go both ways, man. And as you said. These I, I said to people yesterday, man, if you've never seen this, don't trade, but like get out of the indices the last 15 minutes on Friday because right. it's going to be a wild one, man. I mean, these, just are, like, these, these, these markets Friday at the close in some of these names, uh, it will not be for the meek. Let's put it that way. Yeah. These, these, these are big boy trades and you can see some gaps in some of these stocks. So it could be interesting. It may sometimes they disappoint right. in the amount of movement because other volume comes in. Yeah, but. Watch it the last hour or so. They should get pretty volatile. And what we did in Peloton was we set up our trade for a big move. Yes. 
right? And, and between now and the end of the year, yeah, we, we put on what's called a back ratio. And what, uh, what a back ratio means is, you know, in option strategies, you put a lot of targeted or range-bound strategies. Well, this is the exact opposite. You can lay your head on your pillow every night and say, I don't care where it goes. Just go. Right. As far away from that long strike as possible. Yeah. You can pray for a big move and you don't care which direction, guys. Right. And, you know, the folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, I got Peloton up here. And you're going to see that. So the lower end of this, folks, where this consolidation is 92. And the higher end is 139, which is which I thought was so cool, Kevin, because you just got to be 15 points away from that middle, basically. Forever. Right. Yeah. And what we did, if we look on the things from platform, we took that December 31st and that far right column. It gives you the expected move up or down. Yes. Between now and December 31st. That's about it was fifteen dollars yesterday. It's about 14 today. Yeah. And that's how we calculate the width of that spread. And then you do a little price discovery. You make sure you've got it the right way and, sure. and you're getting enough of a credit. But here's the thing. You do it for a credit. Right. So you're actually you're net taking in money. So if it goes, if everything goes to zero, you make your credit. Yep. But the other way, you've got an extra unit of options in that direction. So you've got potentially unlimited uh, gains on the on on, on in the direction of the multiple trade. Right. Pretty wild, man. I, I I'm digging it. And you know, if we <laughs> the. It's pretty wild how this is setting up, isn't it? That the 18th is the last trading. Well, it's quad witching. You got the reconstitution of the indices. It's the last heavy trading week before Christmas. It's like, okay, right. man, here we go. Yes. And in, in the famous words of a very good trader, I know still time, still time to ruin your year. Yes. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and yeah. it, you know what's really important, folks, too, is that you know when we come into next week, trust me, we want you to still listen to all that, but you want to thread much more lightly around these holidays. I mean, because they can push the market wherever they want to push it to. You know. Yeah. So. I mean, make no mistake. When we say that markets, this is the last trading volume week of the year. That doesn't mean the market's not going to move. Right. Matter of fact. You know, it, it will most surely move, but it'll probably move on lower volume. Yes. And just it'll be a little thinner trade, not as as volume heavy as it will be this week. So that doesn't mean, yeah, the last two weeks of the trading year, 12 days, when it, it doesn't mean the market won't move. That's not what I'm saying at all. It'll just move. It'll be less volume. There'll be less eyes on the market than, than there normally is. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And, you know, uh, the it will be interesting to see. You know what's interesting with these bonds, Kevin? These bonds keep rejecting lower price, man. I mean, I know it's so convoluted, but it's it's like just even since we started again, the 10 years is only down four ticks now, and we started, it was down 10 ticks. It's like, right. you know, and you hear everyone saying, okay, the, the rates are definitely going up to 1%. And I'm saying to myself, man, this is just like uh, over and over again, year by year. It seems like every time we think rates are going up, it's like, nope, they're going back down again, man. Amazing. Right. You know, Tom, though, that 1% number will, will, will be a, a, a stubborn number to get through. Yes, no doubt. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to understand option, option strategies, an outstanding program. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. The Dow's up 104, NASDAQ's up 91, S&P's are up 23. We'll come if right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245, and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has just launched our Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. For a limited time, we've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good for all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and services and never expire. Whether you're a current subscriber or just thinking of signing up for any TFNN products in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Happy holidays from all of us at TFNN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom and Tommy O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out there. We have the Dow right now trading up 104. NASDAQ is up 100. S&Ps are up 23. You know what's wild, Tom, is that, uh, so watch this, folks. You got Apple. I mean, the NASDAQ's up good, but guess what? It should be up a lot more, man. Apple is up uh, four points. Yeah, quite a run, man. Yeah. Quite a run. You know. And I think we may need your chart in the den, oh, but okay, I know I've cool. got it up here yep. as well, up like 3.4%. Um, that you can't. We we joke about it, right? You almost can't hold it down, man. Three point four percent on a day where, you know, we trade higher, but we're only up twenty three points right now, man. And if anything, we had a little bit of a sell off, um, since we actually started trading since the opening bell. Yeah. And Apple just just strength across the board, man. And so there's, that's some divergence, folks, because it doesn't take much uh, to basically go south uh, if Apple goes south at all. Now, when Tommy and I were, were talking with Kevin. So what's going to happen on Friday? Now, so check this out because this is pretty wild. Uh, Alta Salon. Alta Salon's coming out of the NDX 100. <clears throat> it means it's got to be sold. And when you want to be cognizant of, you know, this is a great stock, but the, what you definitely want to be cognizant of is you got a huge gap that's open, man. So if you're looking to basically just have patience, <laughs> doesn't mean it's going to get on there Friday, but <clears throat> excuse me, that's where I think this baby's going. Um, which is down at the 216 area, or 263. We have uh, Peloton's going in, Match is going in, MRVL. Now, this one here, this is a nice, highly volatile stock also. This is Marvel Marvel Technologies, Technology. Technologies, right? Yeah. So you're up 55 cents here. Look at the growth on this stock. Okay, so this is a chip company, folks. You know, they're going to take in $750 million this year. They're looking, well, no, 786 next uh, quarter, this qu coming quarter, 29 cents. Look at those numbers there, though. 26%, 71%, 26%. You're talking about big numbers. And then who's going out also has gone out, EX Expedia. But can you imagine okay. being the CEO? And this is out of the NASDAQ 100 we're talking, correct? Yes, it is. Cool. Can you imagine being the CEO and you get the note that, oh, no, they're kicking me out? It's like not so, a good day to be the CEO of a publicly traded company that gets ousted from uh, such a large index for such a large company. Huge. 
It, yeah. And it makes a big difference, folks. It's, you know, because uh, the bottom line is that anyone that, well, just like that, that means the queues sell them. Anyone that's, any fund that's following the queues sell them. Anyone that's a copy copycat for the NDX 100. I mean, it's a, it's a heavy scene, man. There's no And doubt. then even the mantra of just being able to tell people you're part of it. I mean, yes. right now, what's stronger than the NASDAQ 100? What's stronger than the queues, right? You're a member of the queues. Oh, man, you must be Amazon, Microsoft. You know the Google accelerating that, higher. You're kind of part of that. The strength of the market that we've had. I know. Um, you get kicked out of it. You're you're you don't get to say that anymore. You don't. That's yeah. that's not cool, man. Yeah, it's not cool. You know, we go take a look at the uh, gold contract out here. What you have with gold? Uh, you know, we had monster divergence out here yesterday. You know, the dollar trying to get to lower lows, and you know they basically. Gold got lower, rejected lower price. Now, what you have out here this morning, folks, is that you get big contract volume in it. We're getting this price spread, uh, 124,000 contracts already. So it looks to me like next step on gold is going to be this uh, 1879. You're at sure. 1855. Um, silver, we take a look at silver. These commodities, man, these commodities are on a run. Uh, silver's up 53 cents. Oh, this is going to peak its head up too. This is this has got forty thousand contracts already, which is good contract volume. Yeah, and this thing looks like it wants to bust this consolidation. So we'll see how it handles the uh, what's that 20, 2505. And it's all going to be about King Dollar, man. Are they going to you know jump? I was just going to jump to commodities to keep uh, to crude. Excuse me, keep it in yes. commodities. So the IEA. They're out talking about they're going to have a glut through the end of next year. So that's that's something that's remarkable when crews just continue to accelerate. We're about forty seven dollars right now. Um, there was that amazing article yesterday talking about the acceleration of negative prices in April. Uh, but they're talking about tr trimming the, the demand next year by one hundred and seventy thousand barrels a day, man. The six hundred and twenty five million barrel crude excess will clear by next December. That seems pretty reasonable, though, when you think about, man, we got a long way to go. You know, vaccines starting yesterday here. Moderna has one of their hearings on Thursday. Uh, the, the, the news out there today that, you know, I was reading about, even Walgreens and CVS saying that early spring, right. they're going to have shots out there. But then you're talking about you need two shots, right? And you need to get to a lot of people. So early spring, it happens right. for two everybody. Two shots for Pfizer, right? I think Moderna as well. I think they're both two shots. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as in, you know, that's earliest most Americans that are not in one of the elevated areas, early spring, that can vary a bit, I'm sure. Um, but in terms of the crude getting used, airlines flying, all of that stuff, we're, we're far away. I was actually surprised to see that they're saying the glut will be gone by the end of next year. I actually. know, because it's, it's yeah. still pushing. I mean, you know, we pushed last week with volume, man. I mean, it's... Oh, man, that market. That, that crude still looks like it wants higher price, which is phenomenal. But th that's... Crude what would have been one of... I was just going to say, it's one of the more interesting trades if, um, you know, for, for the max pain situation in that one month. And we always talk about ETFs. Right. Yes. That, that, uh, and I know my camera's being a little funky with my. Let me get me there. There we go. Um, ETFs really caused uh, a max pain situation there in terms of ETFs not realizing that it might not be smart. One of the biggest ones in China not realizing that they owned all the future contracts and they had to roll them on the current month to the next month. But right then, man, what a buy! You come out of there and we've pushed back to almost fifty dollars after being at sixty to start the year. Um, totally. Just amazing. Let's go take a look at one of the uh, gold stocks, one of the tigers in the uh, den. So this is Coeur mining, folks. Okay, the low is the dollar ninety-eight, the high is nine twenty-five, and this company uh, takes in uh, two hundred and thirty-four million per quarter and is going to lose fourteen. Now, it looks like it's going to make fourteen cents. So yeah, they must have acquired somebody because they were in the 150s or 170s, and then that that's going to be a record quarter. It looks like for them, or maybe it's just the the prices. I'm not. No, no, you're right. Yeah, they, let's do it again, okay? Because this, I know the stock really well, and I'm going to tell everyone to stay away from this stock, okay? But they took Delane out of their name. It looks like too. I don't know if you saw. Now it's just called Core Mining. Yeah, but, they uh, should take everything out of their name. Okay, so, here we go. So, I'll get an education too. I'm not well, familiar. To I know this. the name. That's I, about I it. I made a, I made a fortune on this stock, folks. It okay? rings a bell because I remember seeing. Yeah. It in the letter, sure. Um, but uh, let me show you something here. This is this is like like it's almost it's an eight dollar stock, but it's almost as they 
the management just keeps bleeding this company. No so, wonder. They got some choice words for that in the den as well, and now yeah. I see the chart. There you now, go. here, watch. Let's see. I'll, I'll go back 20 <laughs> years, okay? So 20 years ago, the stock was worth, let's see, $76, okay? Now, that was the beginning of the, you know, the gold bull, okay, the commodity bull. Then, you know, if we go back even, let's see, 2016, the stock is worth $2, all right? Okay, so now let's get closer and just take a look at it, how it's set up. So if we take a look at the five-year chart, what you're going to see is that at the top of the consolidation, you stay right there, folks. We'll talk about quarterly as soon as we get back. And you're going to need more volume. You can see we're December, not the end of December, like three quarters of the way through. You're at 42 million. You're going into 197. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up uh, 70, Nasdaq's up 91, S&P's are up 19 and a half. We're talking with Coeur d'Alene. So we're going to put this back up, folks, and I'm going to show you something. So on a weekly basis, I, mean, I can see why people get excited about it. That's, that's number one, okay? Because if you don't know the stock, uh, it's a problem. And it really has to do with a trust issue. So you can see this had good volume. Let's see, what month is that? That's good July. 
that's this oh, July. So July, you pushed, you got into the price point of uh, basically eight eight dollars. You push with volume, but you can see four months in a row. You you know last month wasn't bad actually, ninety two million, but you're still going into one ninety seven. This one is giving it up in spades, man. Now, okay, so can it go up to that swing point there? Yes, it can, which is sixteen dollars. Now let me tell you the story about it, though. When you take a look at something like this, the, it, will, it went for nine, a nine for one reverse split, right, Tom? Was it ten for one yeah. in May of two thousand nine? Right. This management, folks. Okay, you, you can't, you don't get another gold stock that really produces that has gone from a price point of of one high of seventy six dollars down to two dollars. You know, so they've been basically taking this company apart. In a, in a long period of time. So that's, that's the warning. You know, I mean, there's plenty of other gold stocks that, uh, well, if I, I show them to you, just watch. You, I can go back that, you know, granted gold went from $252, okay? Then the first time it went up to, uh, what, uh, 19 something, then come back to 1100. And so you can say that, okay, gold has gone that far. Well, I'll just show you another equity. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, like AEM, okay, you know, it's at $70 now and the highs were 88 and it? You know, and the low went to 23. Yeah, I, I went down 75%, but just beware of Coeur d'Alene. Once they, they, once they did that, because everyone else was making money and they were like, what was going on here? And then the management was just taking it apart, so. Sure. Uh, yeah, so Apple shares, pretty interesting, man. Um, they're accelerating 125.61 up 3% on the heels of yesterday, man. Amazon, they're up 3 tenths percent, but they charged higher in a big way from like 31.10 up to 31.90, almost $100, Bob. Both of those charts in, in, a, in a big way. Um, even Walmart, not that higher. Target, really no real action. But the two big dogs, man, out there, Amazon and Apple. And you can see that it says Apple analysts see strong phone demand. Well, I haven't got my phone yet, and I ordered a, what, a week and a half ago now? You know, I figured out what may have been the difference, man. So I got one as well, and I got the one with more memory, which was the, the, the 256, I believe. And that one they probably sell less of. The one you got and is probably what most people need um, for the 12 Pro Max. And 128 that's gigabytes, got, I think, is what I would have gone with usually outside of circumstances. So so that's, that's the difference there. I figured out. We actually ordered different phones because of the memory. You ordered yeah. the more popular one, so you're waiting a little bit longer. Probably why my showed up so quickly because I got the one with a little bit extra that, uh, memory. That, that's so, cool to know. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's it. I was thinking about it. I was saying it to, you know, that, that I was wondering. Um, and then I figured that out. Yeah. But great products, man. I mean, I got to watch on. I tell you, you know, I said, hey, we're going to go full Apple fanboy status this holiday season, I guess. But um, <laughs> you get sucked in, man. They're, they're, they're insane. The charts don't lie, man. I'm not the only one, you know. Oh, I love it. No, I so listen. I, I, You know, it's amazing. Think about it, folks. When they first come out with the Apple Watch, people are saying that, oh, is this thing ever going to go? Is it ever going to go? It's, well, it's four years later, and that's all everyone's talking about. It, the, the wild thing is everyone talk, it really talk about this, that you get the, the 12, but then everyone's using the watch. So now it must be easier, right? Is it easier to yeah, use it? Well, it's all getting easier and easier. You add it to cellular, cellular. What I love about it, man, is I go out for runs. I go out for bike rides. I no longer have to bring my phone. Yeah. I'm accessible during the day. I like to be accessible all the time. TFNN, we're sending out updates, right? We got programming. Things happen when we're streaming live all market day. Right. Um, and I'm always reachable without my phone now. For me, that's that's a huge thing, man, especially when you got phones getting bigger and bigger. So, you, you know, you can talk right into your watch. I can talk right into my watch, man. And even better than that, you got some AirPods and, you know, you're wearing them, you're hearing them, you're talking into them, you're on your watch uh, and the, the health status. It tracks your heart rate. It can do an EKG for your heart. It can it can track your heart. Um, it can do a lot more than I, I use it for, man. I get it. Um, but I, I waited a while for, for the watch because I want to make sure that I would really use it and um, finally pull the and, trigger on that one. And if you're going to call someone, do you just say, hey, Siri, call someone? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. Okay. It ties into you. Uh, wow. Exactly. You pick up your watch. Uh, you say, you know, and I'm not going to say it because it'll start, my watch will think <laughs> I'm talking to it. You know, if I say that, the, 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 um, it'll start talking back to me and then it'll be, who knows where I'll be calling That's, um, in no I, time. I, I get it, man. I, I can see it. I can see, I can see why, 
you'd want the watch with the phone. I mean, that's the the fact, and yeah. that's where I, I was joking over it. I mean, that's that's where it's going. There's there's going to be no need for phones, man. The phone, you know, everything. Why why carry a phone when we're right there, pretty close to a watch? Oh. It's only a matter of time. I mean, we we all we all seen the movies, right? Holograms popping out of the watch. Totally. For everything you need. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta serious. love it. Okay. Totally. I, I I get it. Get ready. I, I, I can see it. Let's go to the XAU, the HUI, and so the, inside this uh, gold market out here. So uh, XAU right now is up 435. We're at 139.70. So to get in a larger range, folks, we need 140.82, which is not bad. You get 70 cents. Uh, in the gold bugs index, right now we're up uh, 10. This has a further way to go. This has a lot way to go, actually. Let's see. We're talking, uh, we're 295, 313, 3, 3.18. Yeah, so what you had here is that when we did go downtown, we, we got more pressure in the equities that don't hedge versus the equities that do hedge. And this, this market is going to get interesting, man, because that... S&P sold down hard yesterday, folks, okay? And it looks to me like it's going to give it up again. So let's see. We're, we're, only, we're only 11 points off of the highs. That being said, oh, yeah, look at this, man. Whoops. It's not going to take much to basically crack this thing again. So what we're doing, if you if you... Looking at my chart, folks, on Tiger TV, watch this. Last night, so what we did last night is we did a 50% retracement from the highs to the lows. I think I did this when I woke up this morning. Yeah. Oh, no, is that a... Oh, it was... No, that's a 0.618. Okay, so, yeah, the NASDAQ did a 50% retracement. So this is a 0.618. That being said... All we have to do is come down a few more points, man, and this thing will go right after the lows that were generated uh, last night, which uh, get you down to this 36.36. This will be pretty interesting. You know, one of the tigresses was saying in the den, folks, you know, the market, markets always have personalities, and they change all the time. But uh, one of the personalities uh, had been for a long period of time that you drive the futures down at night, and they buy them in the morning and drive them up. Now... It's they're driving them up, and then the big dogs are selling it off as soon as the market gets open and everyone gets happy, you know? I can see it, man. Yeah. You were saying yesterday, maybe we get a consolidation for a while, right. and maybe that's how we get that consolidation, right? Yeah. Just feed yeah. them that paper, man. Oof. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 40, NASDAQ up 83, S&P is up 15. We'll come right back. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Are you looking to buy or sell gold, silver, platinum, coins, or bullion? We can help. At Tiger Precious Metals and Stones, we specialize in the buying and selling of gold, silver, as well as collectible U.S. and foreign coins. We not only buy our unwanted or broken jewelry, but you can trade that in for gold and silver coins, too. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 for a quote over the phone and to lock in the current market price. Call us now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has just launched our Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. For a limited time, we've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good for all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and services, and never expire. Whether you're a current subscriber or just thinking of signing up for any TFNN products in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Happy Holidays from all of us at TFNN. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 38. NASDAQ is up 70. S&P is up 14 and a half. Yeah, hey, man, when, when's Apple going to do the shoe phone, right? <laughs> One of the yeah, times. I need my shoe phone, man. <laughs> Give me my shoe phone. <laughs> oh, you got to love no, it. No, listen, even I, I finished up my, and I think those were Black Friday sales, and I took a deep breath. I said, oh, that was exhausting, man. I got to stop spending money with Apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, market-wise out here, folks, uh, we'll see where it's going to shake out, man. I mean, it's getting, it's getting a little weaker. Um, and, you know, the, the dollar's gone down another, you know, 47 ticks. Nothing big there. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, and we'll see whether there's going to be any volume in this market. You get Apple's the big dog up here, up 360. Uh, American Airlines is uh, down 49 cents. You got Advanced Micro up $1.20. Plug Power's up 290 that plug, remember I told you, those are the ones they tried to give me a free share when I was just playing around with a Robinhood account, and I took my $4 for plug, and I said, I don't know who this company is. Just give me the $4, man. I'll sell my free share of plug. Look they were giving out good free shares, man, back at uh, the beginning of this year. The what a trip, right? I know. I said, I should know what you know, Robinhood's like, man. That's that's the trend. I want to see what this is all about. Put, yep. put a little cash in there to experience it. Much bigger fan of Thinkorswim. They are sponsors, folks. Yep. But even if they weren't, um, if, you're, if you're a trader, Robinhood does not have the tools that Thinkorswim and some of the other more traditional brokerages have, for there, sure. There's no doubt. Yeah. So, Tesla. I mean, <laughs> it, it, folks... Please don't shot Tesla. I know I'm watching people out there, and people still think they're going to take a shot at it. So we just have to go through the mechanics of it, because the mechanics, folks, itself, what, that article I sent you, Tommy, what, it's $3.5 trillion that is in. So well, here's the number, folks. $3.5 trillion are either S&P funds or S&P mimic funds. So... Every one of those funds, it doesn't mean they're buying 3.35 trillion of the equity, but what's going to happen is it. I mean, Tesla's going to be 1.2 percent of the S&P or something. So something like that. Yeah. I was just pulling up. I mean, yeah. I'll pull up the the heat map uh, of the S&P 500 for a quick glimpse of where they're going to be. Right. So Tesla falls at about 550 billion dollars is going to be the market cap. For some context here, there is Visa at 456. OK, yep. so Tesla's going to come in slightly larger yep. than Visa. Disney's at about 300. Facebook's about 775. Right. So you're somewhere in the neighborhood of between Visa and Facebook. Visualization always helps. What's it? Nike's at 216, man. Amazing. You know, I mean, some of these companies, Tesla's just going to dwarf. Home Depot, 288. Johnson Johnson, 395. Yes. United Health. 320 JP Morgan 362 so that's why I mean this is it's it's unmatched you know except for some of the biggest tech stocks out there like Apple Amazon Microsoft I think it's gonna be number five or number six when it enters right. um, the index and so what happens here folks the bottom line is that they have to buy it they're gonna be buying it at the close on this Friday so that they own it waking up Monday morning and that's why they have to own it so it's gonna be insane 
Um, I agree. That's yeah. a good good use of the word insane. I agree. Exactly. Exactly. It is. So, you know, after that, yeah. I mean, is the is the is the 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 stat kind of goes like, yeah, it goes down after that, you know, for a bit, and then ends up with higher highs later. But you know, just stay. I away tell you, from man, that that you know, maybe some defined risk trades um, in the final half hour of trading. I tell you, you know. Folks, Nadex has not been a sponsor for the longest time. But you know what I thought about, man, was was some of those binaries or spread oh, yeah. trades for the last half hour of the trading on Friday right. um, using the Nadex platform. Again, not a sponsor. First time I thought of it in a while, man, because they offer that defined risk with a binary spread trades in the last half hour. Um, That's a great idea, man. Is, I, 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 if I'm you've never seen that, folks, what Tommy and I are talking about, it's literally just a yes or no on, on the binary. And, <laughs> sure. And in, I mean, for instance, depending on how they're priced, and I, I think I think uh, that market participants are going to correctly price how much volatility might happen in the last half hour, yes. where you're going to see unprecedented volatility in some of these products um, because of, yeah. if you're going to be the person selling that, right, yeah. you're probably going to demand a higher price. But yeah, I mean, if you're trading right now, I mean, even, you know, at 36.60 in the S&Ps, right, I mean, on the SPIs, you're trading 30, 366. 3660, you could have a binary 20, 30 points outside of the market in the final 15 or 30 minutes. And that's the one that I'm really intriguing to see. What are they pricing? Right. Some of these 1% moves that are completely possible in the final 15 minutes, half hour of trading, let alone. Um, There's no doubt. There's yeah. No doubt. It's, it's going to be quite a I'm going to be in my chair, man. Oh, ready. yeah. And I can tell you, folks, you know, when we had Kevin Hinks on, he says, you know, sometimes they move beyond belief and sometimes they don't. And that's how it happens. And when they move, though, you've never seen anything like this in your life. Like, because I was always, every time when, the, when this would happen, and it happened, it seemed to be happening more like 10, 20 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. But it's happened. I was saying, like, why, why, don't they, why can't they just hire me for the last 15 minutes, man? Because I don't understand. <laughs> no, I really don't understand why they they just don't care they they hit a button and they go market buys and it just swings everything up folks and i guess they don't care because they're going into indices because everyone's yeah. in the same deal you know it's it's mark to market for the indice so you know it's it's really pretty wild man it'll be interesting because Tesla's gonna have a pull in the s p i mean i went over in my program today you go back to october 30th man the low that day was 32.25 we came within just about 10 points of 500 points from October 30th to the high of 37.1475 on December 9th. 500 points. Right. Now, what's remarkable is that that was a sell the news. You know what I mean? We, we yes. all the hype up to the election. Right. And then, oh, the VIX just plummets. The S&P accelerates higher. The vaccine comes out. The VIX plummets further. The S&P accelerates higher further. It's going to be remarkable if we see a similar deal here where we see and Folks, I don't know how, I mean, does this accelerate Tesla higher where they become a trillion dollar company or something, right? I mean, where does this end? So well, I don't know. They're, because... they're going to have the shot on Friday, right? <laughs> but that's what I mean, right? Yeah. You know, it's like, does, does, they're, they're so lofty already, you know? I mean, even Tesla in that time frame, oh, right? If, if you're a fundamentalist, you're going to be pulling your hair out, man. I mean, yeah. You know, oh my goodness! What, right. What, what you can take every car company. I think you can take GM, um, probably Mercedes, Toyota. Put them all together, and it doesn't come to the market cap of Tesla. Like GM's only fifty-nine billion. That and when it got added, November sixteenth, you were at four hundred dollars. It's simple math, man. You're at six forty-two. <laughs> so, so everybody who's bought, you know, who who's going to be the person? Besides the S&P 500 buying on Friday, right? That's right. So, and and the whole world might be selling because kudos to anybody who bought in in the lead up. They've gotten it, man. Now oh. they just got to get out. They got it know. all. We, we all get to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to push the last button on Friday? Because I've seen, folks, the last button on Friday. Like, let's say Tesla's at 650. I've seen the stocks go from 650 to 675 to 725, 750, just like that, within a minute. Uh, you want to hear something crazy? It was at $400 before this announcement, right? I mean, if you talk about even 
a 50% pop just on being added to the S&P, it's still under where it should be. That would bring it to 600. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollars worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The gold report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, an essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is up 98. Nasdaq's up 88. S&Ps are up 20. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see under featured content the Tiger Dollar Sale. Now, we do this a couple times a year, and this is a way that you can save quite a bit of money or make money, uh, depending on which way you want to look at it. Um, the way Tiger Dollars work is that if you have any products at TFNN right now, you can use them. They're totally transferable. They have no expiration date. And the way it works is that if you buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars, you get $600. That's an extra $100 bonus or 20%. If you buy $1,000, you get $1,300 or $300 extra or 30%. If you buy $1,500, which is the max, uh, bottom line is that you get $2,100, an extra $600 or 40%. So check it out. Uh, hard to comprehend, though. Uh, this is over on the 20th, uh, which is uh, five days from now. It's pretty crazy, right? You got your Christmas shopping done? No, but I'm going to start today. Get online, man. I know. 
No. It's, a, it's a year like none other. I would not save things and then think uh, that we can do the mad dash as normal. No, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get for the on the O'Brien Christmas run. Yeah, and you know it's so funny. Like yesterday, I, I tried to do it yesterday. I says, okay, Amazon's even better now. I could push it one more day. <laughs> Look at you. So that's that shocks me to tell you the truth. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, Hey, just things I want to, for the rest of the week, right, Kevin was talking about as we wrap up the program. It'd be interesting. We get, speaking of, uh, FedEx uh, with their numbers on Wednesday, man. Okay. I'm sure they'll have a lot to offer about what's oh, going yeah. on. And then we get Nike on, um, excuse me, FedEx on Thursday, excuse me, General Mills on Thursday, and then Nike and Darden on Friday. Just kind of a yeah, couple well. interesting stocks as we make it through the week. Folks, stay right there. we got Think of Swim coming up next. And I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Look at him, folks. <laughs>